Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Polar coming at you with a brand new video and today I'm going to be showing you guys 7 tips to reduce stutters and frame drops in Fortnite. I know this is most likely the number one concern when it comes to PC related issues for Fortnite players, so hopefully this guide will help you out as well. These tweaks are specifically designed to support a consistent number of frames while gaming and if every step is followed correctly, your game should be buttery smooth afterwards. But without further ado, let's dive straight into the video. Alrighty guys, and the first thing we want to make sure that we do before starting the video off is make sure that we are on the latest version of Windows Code. So to do this, we're going to go to the bottom of the Windows and just simply check for updates. Go ahead and click enter or select it. Once you're here, even if it says you are completely up to date, go ahead and check for updates again. This might pop up with a antivirus update, which you might as well go through with. And then if you've already done this, make sure you go slightly under it. And it's going to come up with a new tab right here if you have not done it already. There's going to be an optional update to Windows 1909. Make sure you go through with this update as it has been shown to give a slightly higher FPS and a slight difference in ping. Um, so you want to go ahead and go through with that if you have not already. And after you've completely updated to Windows 1909, go ahead and restart your computer. But for those of you that have completely updated, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next step, which is going to be making sure that we are completely free of viruses and any unwanted files. So to do this, we're going to go to the link down in the description. It's going to take you to the malware, malware bytes ADW cleaner. Once you're here, you're going to go ahead and click the free download. And it's going to start this file right here. You can go ahead and drag that onto your desktop. As you can see, we're going to go ahead and drag it right on top. And we can go ahead and close out of that tab. Right here, we're going to go ahead and open this up. You can click yes. And it's going to open up Malwarebytes ADW Cleaner. You want to click I agree. And once you're here, you want to go ahead and scan now. This is going to start scanning your entire computer for any unwanted files, viruses, or anything that could be slowing your computer down without you knowing it. Um, anything that could be compromising your uh, personal information, your credit card information, anything like that, or anything that could just be slowing it down in general or starting up that you aren't aware about. So as you can see, it's going to scan pretty quickly um, for most people is I don't have too much on my computer. This could take anywhere from about uh, 30 seconds or 20 seconds for me, anywhere to about five minutes. And as you can see, I have nothing run on here. No items were detected. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just skip the basic repair um, just because this is going to reset the Windows settings to their default values after I've already made some tweaks. Um, for those of you that want to go ahead and do this, you can go ahead and run the basic repair. I recommend just skipping the basic repair if you have watched my previous videos. If not, then I recommend doing the basic repair and then going and watching my previous videos. For now, we're going to go ahead and do the skip basic repair. You can just go ahead and exit out of that. And then from there, we can go ahead and just close the antivirus. All right, and the next step that we're going to get started with is going to make sure that we are checking our storage drives um, just to make sure that Windows is running on a solid state drive, which is going to be called in short an SSD, which is going to be a lot faster than a hard drive and will help reduce starters as well. So you want to go ahead and open up your file explorer. You can either search that in the bottom left or open it as a pin tab if you have it like me. Once you're here, you might have either a local disk which is going to be your c drive and that is going to be where your windows is installed and you want to go ahead and make sure windows is installed on your uh, ssd drive so once you do this you can go ahead and right click on the, SS or the ssd or a c drive and you want to check and make sure that it is not more than 75 percent full as this will cause stutters if it is overrided with too much information once you're here, you can go ahead and do a disk cleanup if you'd like, go, and you can completely check most of these files. I do recommend unchecking the downloads file if you have important files stashed in there, and you can go ahead and do a cleanup system files. And this should free up some space as well. You can go ahead and close out of that. Make sure that this is 75% full, and if you'd like, you can go ahead and do a error check as well to make sure that your SSD is running smoothly. Then if you do have a hard drive like me as a backup drive where I keep my games that I don't play as much, I would go to the tools tab, do another error check right here. Then you go ahead and actually optimize your hard drive right here and you go ahead and analyze it. 
it's okay. It, some of you, you may need to defrag it and go and do an optimize. This is going to take a little bit. It shouldn't take more than a couple minutes though. And it's going to actually clean up your hard drive and make it run a bit faster and get any unnecessary information on there. So I've already done this today, so I'm going to go ahead and stop it. So for the sake of the video, we can go ahead and exit out of all of these tabs and move on to the next tip. Alrighty, and for that third tip, we're going to make sure that hardware acceleration is turned off on most common applications that do support it. The first thing we're going to use is Discord. Most gamers do use Discord, so we're going to go ahead and open that up. As you can see, mine's doing a quick update. Once you go ahead and open up Discord, you can go ahead and go to the bottom left of your settings. Go ahead and go to the appearance tab. Once you're here, you can go ahead and disable hardware acceleration. This should help with FPS drops, as it says right here, as it will take some stress off of your graphics card. Once you do that, you can go ahead and uncheck it and it, you can relaunch Discord to make sure that it is disabled. Next, we're going to go ahead and move on to Google Chrome, which is another common application that most people use. Once you're here, you can go ahead and go to the top right, the three dots, go ahead and go to the settings, scroll all the way down. We're going to go to advanced, keep scrolling, and then we're going to go under system. Once here, you want to make sure that use hardware acceleration when available is turned off and make sure that the continue running background apps when Google Chrome is closed is turned off as well. This will keep it from running in your system tray and this will also turn off hardware acceleration, which will take some stress off of your graphics card. The third application that is most common is going to be Spotify. You can go ahead and open up Spotify. Once you're here, you want to go to the view tab in the top right, click the three dots, go to the view tab and make sure that you turn off hardware acceleration. As you can see, it's going to ask if we want to disable it and we want to take this and click yes. This is going to restart Spotify as well. <clears throat> as you can see, oh, maybe it doesn't want to restart, but you want to go back into Spotify and make sure that it is disabled. As you can see, it is now unchecked. So we can go ahead and close out of it. Now that we have all of those disabled, we can go ahead and move on to that third tip. Alrighty, and for that fourth tip, the first thing we're going to do is open up the app data file. We're going to search percent app data in the bottom left. Go ahead and open this up. Once you're here, you're going to go ahead and click app data at the top. Go ahead and click local. Then we're going to find the Fortnite game folder. From here, you can go ahead and name it anything you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and name it Fortnite game stutter fix. Go ahead and enter. This is going to completely reset your config folder. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and close it out. Go ahead and launch your Fortnite game. This is going to take a second. This is going to completely relaunch your configuration file. And this fix did come from Diety on Twitter. I'll go ahead and link his Twitter down below. And um, this fix did come from him as well as a couple of other people have used it. This is going to completely reset your configuration file though. From here, we can go ahead and change it to our own personal visual settings that we'd like for Fortnite. This may fix any stutters you are experiencing as well as any low FPS. This is recommended to do pretty much as I would say as often as anywhere from once a month to at least once every season. From here, we're going to go ahead and decline this offer. Go and open up the battle royale tab. Once you're here, you're going to fully load in. We're just going to go ahead and skip through all of this. As you can see, your graphics are going to be a bit different. From here, you can go ahead and go to your settings tab, and this is going to take us into our fifth tip. From here, we're going to go ahead and make sure that we are playing on full screen. Make sure that we are playing a one setting above your um, monitor refresh rate. Unless you are playing with FreeSync, then I do recommend using that instead. However, I do not recommend using G-Sync as that has been proven to have multiple problems. From here, we're going to go ahead and make sure that we are on full screen, what resolution you'd like, the frame rate limit. We can go ahead and skip these couple settings right here. These are all preference. From here, I recommend setting 3D resolution to whatever you'd like after you've tweaked your settings. From view distance, I'm going to set this on near, shadows off, into aliasing, I'm going to set that on low. Textures, I do recommend experiencing with this. Some people have better experience with epic, te epic textures. Personally, I've had better FPS um, consistency on low. And we're going to turn um, effects all the way to low, post processing all the way to low. Keep in mind this is to reduce FPS drops as well as get the highest FPS possible. So if you have a beefier PC and you're not necessarily a competitive player, you can tweak these settings a bit to see what you do like the most. 
Next, we're going to go ahead and make sure that V-Sync is off as always. Motion blur we want off as well. We want to just make sure that we can't see our FPS. And from here, we're going to have the DirectX version. If you are on a newer GPU um, in the 2000 series or higher, I do recommend using the DirectX 12. Then we're going to go ahead and <clears throat> test these out as well if you're on a newer GPU. If you're on an older, I recommend staying on the DirectX 11. This does take some testing though, so I would hop into Creative and see which one feels better. For me, I have had better experience on DirectX 12 just because I do have a newer graphics card now. Um, and for multi-threaded rendering, if you do have more than four cores, I recommend turning this on. Four or more, I recommend turning this on. Um, use GPA, uh, GPU crash debugging. I recommend turning this off just because this is going to take a little bit of performance just to send a couple bits of information to Epic Games just so they can get some data. For us, we want the best performance possible. They can kind of figure that out on their own. We're going to go ahead and turn that off. And to check the amount of CPU uh, cores you have, we're just going to go ahead and alt tab out real quick. Let's see. I'll go ahead and minimize it. And we're going to go ahead and right click on our taskbar, open task manager. Once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and click on your CPU. From here, you can see that I have four cores. So I'm going to leave it on. <clears throat> I'm going to leave multi-threaded rendering on. And this can also be experimented, experimented with as well if you have about four or less. Um, I do recommend testing this in a creative one by one just to see what you do get better performance with. And after you've done all of that, you can go ahead and apply it and that's going to complete our fifth tip as well. Alrighty, for the next tip, the, what I recommend doing is just going into the bottom left of Windows, search percent, temp percent, go ahead and open it up and you can literally select everything, click your delete tab. We're going to do this for all current items. Or just, oh, sorry, we're going to go ahead and skip it. And this is going to completely free up this file folder and this should not do anything um, detrimental to the performance of your PC. This is actually going to free up some space, so if you haven't done this before, you should look and you should have a lot more free space as well and select as many files as you can. Um, these ones that aren't deleted are just being used by processes that are running on your computer currently. For me, I currently have Discord in my tray as well as OBS, so they are being used by them as well. And that's going to free up some space and help reduce stutters as well. But that's going to conclude our sixth tip and now we're going to move on to the final tip. Alrighty, and for that last and final tip that what we're going to do is make sure that full screen optimizations are disabled. So we're going to go ahead and open up our file explorer, go to whichever drive your Fortnite is installed on. For me, I haven't been playing Fortnite too much lately, so I'm going to go ahead and go to the hard drive that it is installed on. We're going to find the Epic Games tab, go to the Fortnite, then we're going to go to Fortnite game, binaries, from here we want to go to the Win64, and we're going to look for these files right here, the ones with the Fortnite logos. They should be three shipping and then the launcher. From here, we want to right click on each one, go to the properties, compatibility, and disable full screen optimizations. We're gonna go ahead and apply that, as well as go to the change high DPI settings. From here, we want to click override high DPI scaling and select application, click okay, apply, okay. And go ahead and repeat this for all four, um, applications right here so we're going to disable override application apply okay same thing for the third one disable change override application okay apply okay and the launcher as well it's going to be under the compatibility tab disable override application okay apply okay from that that's going to be the last tip in the video Alrighty, and that's gonna pretty much wrap up the video. However, these are not the only tips I have. I do have another video coming soon, which is going to be a big tweak to your PC that can severely help your FPS. And I will be showing you guys how to do that in the next video. Um, but that is all I have for you guys. Um, I do recommend uh, completely reinstalling and doing a clean install of your Fortnite game just to get some new files every season if possible. Um, just do it overnight if you can onto your SSD and then I also recommend using CC cleaner up here to do that as well to make sure that you are getting every file off of your computer as well as the residue configuration files but yeah guys these are the best tips I can give you to help 
specifically with FPS drops in stutters. However, these two are not encompassing all of the high FPS tricks I can give. I do have previous videos down in the description or if you look at different playlists I have to help with FPS as well as lower ping. I do recommend checking those out and if you have not already, I do recommend joining my Discord. Um, we have a couple people in here that do try to answer your questions. Um, I am kind of active in here and we have a PC questions tab. So you can go ahead and ask any questions you'd like in here. We have some people that are willing to help you out. Just feel free to ask anything you'd like and make sure you aren't adding anyone. Uh, and from here, you can suggest different video ideas. You can promote your own YouTube channel, stuff like that. You can post some memes and you can, and we have a general chat as well. So you can just hang out with some people, make some friends. And it's just a great community to be a part of. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much been it for the video. I appreciate all of you guys um, for your support lately. It means the world to me and I promise to be more active lately. I have been slacking lately. Um, but I am so grateful for all of you. I cannot stress it enough, but that's pretty much all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.